Hi, I'm Eric with My Boring Channel, and I help people make websites. Now I want to say three quick things. Number one, you don't need any technical skills to do this. I'm a teacher and I'm going to show you how it's done. Number two, your website is going to be cheap, folks. You can hire a web designer if you'd like and spend thousands of dollars, or you can spend less than the cost of a latte per month and build it yourself. Number three, your website's going to look professional because we're going to use WordPress the most popular website building software in the world. WordPress is used by millions of individuals and organizations, including companies like Best Buy, Sony, Disney, and eBay. So put your doubts and your fears aside and let's get started. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to write pages and posts. Now that may sound easy, but there are a few things that aren't quite so easy that I'm also going to show you how to do, like inserting a contact form and setting up your permalinks. So let's get started. Step one is, as always, to go to your URL followed by a forward slash wp-admin. Once you're there, put in your username and your password and click log in. Now today we're going to be writing pages and posts gonna be cool let's go ahead and X out of this little message here if you see it if you don't see it that's okay now you will notice these little red circles these are important to notice because these are telling you that you have updates one thing that is very important is to always keep your WordPress website updated so let's go ahead and click on plugins and see what this update is scroll down okay you can see there is a new version of Yoast SEO available now you can look at the details of the update or you can just click update now. I'm going to click update now. WordPress will automatically update the plugin. Perfect. The Yoast SEO plugin also gives you notifications. So these aren't updates down here. These are just Yoast telling you you should do something. So let's click on it and see what Yoast is saying. Okay. These are improvements. Three improvements. We don't need these things. X, X. Now this one is important. As we write pages and posts, we want our URL, which is this up here, to not look funky. We want it to include our post name. So in order to do that, you have to go to your permalinks. In order to get to your permalinks, you can click this here, or you can do it the right way, which is to go to settings and then permalinks. Click this one here, post name. That way, your URL will always look like this your domain name followed by the name of your post. That's what you want. Scroll down to the bottom and click Save Changes. Okay, we've taken care of all our notifications and updates, updates being the most important. Now we're going to write some pages and some posts. Okay, so what you wanna do first is head over to Pages on the left here, and then click on Add New right here. We're gonna call this page about us or about you want your about us page to include pertinent information about yourself your hours what you do what you're good at what's your company mission when somebody looks at your about us page they should be able to contact you easily and they should know exactly what you do so take some time and write a good about us page for an example of an about us page let's look at my actual website myboringchannel.net and then let's click on my about us page scroll down a bit and we see I have a picture of myself and my kids. I, I say who this website is for. I tell why I made the website. And then I have a button down at the bottom. Let's get started because that's what I want people to do on my website is follow through my WordPress tutorials. So a good about us page should have a lot of very pertinent information about your business. Once you're done writing your about us page, click publish. Now, obviously I haven't put anything in this page yet. I'm gonna do that later. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and click on pages. We can see we have two pages now. We have the sample page and we have an about us page. The sample page was already here. Let's go ahead and make a contact page now. We can either click add new right here or we can again go to pages and then add new over here. I'm gonna click add new right here. I'm gonna call this page contact. Now to add a contact form, all we need to do is click this button here that says add contact form. And this button is here because we installed Jetpack before. 
Now, if you haven't watched my previous video on how to install plugins, I highly recommend watching it. Watch it and see how to install Jetpack and then activate the contact form module. Okay, let's go ahead and click add contact form. This screen comes up. This is what our contact form is going to look like. We can add a new field if we'd like by clicking add a new field down here. And then we can add new fields over here. Now if you want a field to be required, you would click required right here. I'm not going to add this new field for now, so I'm going to click the little minus button here. Now this link up here, email notifications, if you click that, this is the email address where you will get your communication from your site's visitors. Now, I recommend not using a Gmail address here. I recommend using an email that is associated with your domain name. Now, if you don't know how to set up that email, you can contact me and I can help you. Or perhaps down the road, I'll make a video on it. My email address is info at boringtips.com. You can also fill out a subject line here if you want. I'll just call it info. When you're done, click save and go back to form builder. Now let's click add this form to my post. Okay, this code here, this is our contact form. Let's go ahead and click publish. We will go look at this contact form in just a moment. Okay, let's go ahead and add another page. Go ahead right here and click add new. This page is going to be our blog page. Let's call it blog and then click publish. Okay, now let's click on all pages. So now we have an about us page, a blog page, a contact page, and a sample page. Let's go see what our website looks like right now. And we can do that by hovering over WordPress tutorial at the top, yours will say something different, and then click on visit site. And here's a question, where are our links? I don't see a navigation menu. Well, let's fix that. Hover over this right at the top, and then scroll down to menus right here. Now, keep in mind that different themes have different options for menus, so sometimes you'll see a little bit different things in here. But, for this one, let's call this menu Primary, and then click Create Menu. Now, this particular theme has three menu locations, the Primary Menu Location, the Secondary Menu Location, and the Social Menu Location. Let me show you what it looks like. This is my website here. I'm going to go to the home page. This is the Primary Menu Location up here. This is the secondary menu location here, and down at the bottom, we have the social menu location. So right now, we're working on the primary menu. So we're going to click primary right here, and then we're going to click these four boxes, because these are our different pages, and we're going to click add to menu. Now we've added these four items to our primary menu location. We can reorder these simply by dragging them around. So now sample page is first, blog is second, contact is third, and about is fourth. Let's make blog third. There we go. Now if you click on the little down arrow here on the right, you can, you can choose the link wording here. So for sample page we'll call it home because we're going to change this one to our home page. And this one we'll leave as contact, this one we'll leave as blog, and this one we will leave as about. But keep in mind you can change these and then the link wording will change. Now let's click Save Menu. Now let's go back to our website by hovering over this and clicking on Visit Site. Hey look, we have a navigation menu now. Let's try clicking the Contact page. Here's our contact form. I would recommend testing out your contact form when you are not signed in. Put your name, email address, website, and a comment in there, and then click Submit. See if you get an email at the email address you specified when you were creating your contact form. Here's our blog link. And right now there's nothing there. Here's our About Us page. And again, there's nothing there right now. Okay, let's go back to our pages, hover over this, and click on Dashboard, and then click on Pages. Now, on Sample page here, let's click Edit. This will be our home page. Let's just say Welcome. They have some sample text in here, which is great. So I'm going to show you real quick how to use these commands right here. These allow you to edit your text in a variety of ways, kind of like Microsoft Word. If you want your text to be bold, simply highlight the text and then click on 
the B right here. If you want to italicize your text, highlight the text and then click on the I right here. If you want to create a bulleted list, you simply click the bulleted list right here, write your text, click enter, and so on and so forth. This is how you create a block quote. This is how you create a horizontal line. This is how you left align your text, center align your text, right align your text, and so on. This icon here will give you even more options. So now, if you want to create a heading, put a heading at the beginning here. You can type your text and then hover over it and then choose one of these heading sizes. How about heading two? So go ahead and play with these. Here's underline, here's justify, here's text color. Now I also want to point out how to make links. Okay, links are important. So I'm just going to create a link to, here is a link to my YouTube channel. I'm going to hover over YouTube channel because those are the words I'm going to turn into a link. I'm going to click this button right here. It says insert edit link. Then I'm going to put the URL to my YouTube channel right here. And then I will click this button right here, apply. And now those two words are a link. You can see that using this toolbar is fairly easy and it's intuitive. If you're familiar at all with Microsoft Word, you can figure this out. Let's go ahead and click update. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what our website looks like. Hover over this and click visit site. Now we should be on our home page. How come we don't see anything we just wrote? Well, it's because our site is set to have our blog page as our home page. What we would like to do is set our home page to be a static page. So let's go ahead and back to our dashboard. I'm going to show you how to do this from the dashboard. You can also do this from the customizer page which I showed you how to do in my third video in this series, which is how to install a theme. So over here, go to settings and then go to reading. In reading, click this right here. We're going to have front page displays a static page. And then we're going to choose our front page here. It's going to be our welcome page. And then our posts page is going to be our blog page. And then we're going to scroll down and click save changes. Now, when we go back to our main page, visit site, we are going to see the page we just worked on with the link we made and the heading we put in there and the bulleted list we made at the bottom. These are block quotes, by the way. And this is now our home page. Now, if we click on our blog page, we go here and look, there is nothing there. Why? Because we have not created any posts yet. Okay. We've learned how to create pages. Now let's learn how to create posts. You can go back to your dashboard if you'd like, or you can also always add new pages or posts right here from the top where it says new, new post, new page, new user, new media. We're going to do new post right here. And if you want to do it from the dashboard, you would click on dashboard and then go to posts and then click on add new here. Here's our first post. We're going to call this post number one. Then you write your post in here. You can use the toolbar here to make the links and the bold text and the italicized text and things like that. And if you want to insert media, like a picture, you would simply click add media right here. And then you could add a picture into your post. And you can also do this with your pages. If you want to upload new files, you would click upload files here. And then you would select files here and browse to the file on your computer and upload it. But for now, I'm just going to use a file in my media library. I'm going to use this A right here. I'm going to click insert into post. There we go. We now have a picture in our post. If you click on the picture and then click on the little pencil right here, you can edit this picture a little bit. You can change the alt text, which I always recommend doing to be descriptive. And this helps with accessibility purposes. For example, if someone is blind, then they will have the alt text read to them so that they will know what the image is. Pink cartoon letter A. We can have it link to the actual file. We can have it linked to an attachment page. We can put our own URL in there to have it linked to. It's up to you. Go ahead and play with those things and see what happens. You can left align it, center align it, right align it, or not align it at all, which is kind of like left aligning it. 
Left aligning it though allows the text to flow around it. If you don't do any alignment at all, the text will not flow around the image. Let's click update. Now you can see these little pictures here too. See align left, it shows the text flowing around it. If you align center like this, that's what will happen. Align right, the text will flow to the left of it. And if you don't align it at all, the text will go above it, then you'll have the image, and then the text will be below it. Okay, so we're gonna left align this. And then I'm gonna put it right here in front of the blah, blah, blah. And then I'm gonna look at these down here. You have all these different formats. I'm not gonna go into all these different formats, but what I will tell you is that if you try each of these different formats, you will see that on your blog page, the excerpts for your posts will look different. So I would recommend trying these out and seeing what they look like. Now, one more thing. You want to categorize all your posts. It's important because it helps with search engine optimization. That means it helps your pages and posts get found in the search engines. And it's also good for organization of your website. So let's go ahead and click add new category and call this just for the sake of this tutorial category one. Then we'll click add new category. Then we will make sure this is checked because we're putting this post into that category. And then lastly, we can set a featured image. So let's do that, set featured image. And then we can upload a file or we can choose a file from our media library. Let's go ahead and upload a file. Click select files and then browse to the file you want on your computer. Uh, one of these, how about this one? I'm gonna put in some alt text because it's important. Little boy and girl smiling. That's the best I can come up with right now. And then I'm going to click set featured image. Now that I've categorized my post, I've set a featured image and I've chosen the format, I'm ready to publish it. So let's click publish. Now let's go to our website and see what it looks like. Let's click visit site here. Now, this is our homepage and this is our blog page. Let's click blog. Now scroll down. We can see the blog post that I just wrote. There's my featured image, there's my title, and there's my post. Now it says edit this and all this stuff here because I'm logged in. This won't be here when you're not logged in. Let's go ahead and click this. Scroll down a bit and you will see it takes us to our first post. And here's the image that I added, and here's the text that I added. You can see the image is left aligned, and the text is flowing around it to the right. So now you know how to set up your primary menu, write pages and posts, set your home page to be a static page, create a blog page and a contact page with a contact form, and you also know how to choose the format of your blog post and set a featured image. You've learned a lot today. Thanks for watching today's video. I really hope you learned a lot. If you like what you heard, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.